Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Love Our Life. Today we are here in Augusta, Georgia, and we are going to just drive around town and check out some things that Angie wants to show me. Uh, I believe we're going to go to the James Brown Arena. I think we're going to go to somewhere called River Walk, River, yeah, River, River Walk, uh, and just check that out. So we're just going to do some things while we're here in the middle of all of our updates and stuff like that. So let's get going. Come on. Enjoy this. We have made it downtown Augusta. Now we are really close to the James Brown Arena. Sure. There's the boulevard right there. Mile. Turn, so right, on to turn right here. Okay, so there's a couple of things I want to show you guys while we're down here um, in this area. We're not going to spend a lot of time in the downtown area, but uh, I did want to show you a couple of things in the surrounding area. James Brown Arena is like right over here. There's a cool church right here, and then there's something really cool over here I want to show you guys. But we're standing right in front of the William Bell Memorial Auditorium, which is really cool looking. But uh, let me just show you guys what it looks like. It looks like it's closed right now. So change of plan. I'm not going to show you that arena because, or the auditorium, because when you're standing there, there was a man that looked very angry and was on his phone calling someone. So we were like, let's just get the heck out of here. Um, you have to remember, like, when you're vlogging things like this, uh, you're not in Orlando anymore. It can be complicated. People don't understand what you're doing. Uh, our friends Adam and Micah, they've gotten in trouble. Uh, not really in trouble, but they've had situations where people come out and yell and scream at them, like, what the heck are you doing? Uh, we want to avoid that at all costs during this trip. So, I mean, it is what it is. We do have some cool stuff still planned, but um, still, you know. But anyway, what I'm standing right in front of, I want to show you guys. Looks really cool. So let's check it out. This is the boyhood home of President Woodrow Wilson. This is actually a museum that you can go into. The museum is actually right next to it. Uh, we do plan on doing that very soon. We might do it this weekend. But this is the boyhood home of Woodrow Wilson. It's really nice, really cool. This is where he grew up. There's tons of facts about him and stuff. But I mean, it's just pretty amazing. Decided to come over here and get a closer look here. This is pretty awesome. Uh, this home, as you can see here, the boyhood home of President Woodrow Wilson, National Historic Landmark. That's awesome. So this is on the National Landmark Registry. And like I said, they do have a museum that you can go in and see here. But uh, it's actually marked a landmark in 2008. That's pretty cool. I love stuff like this. I don't know much about Woodrow Wilson what kind of president he was and stuff, but this is pretty cool. And this placard here, I was trying to read up on it when this was actually established, but he was actually born in 1856, so this would have been in the late 1800s. Uh, later attended school, graduating in 1881, having previously graduated from Princeton University. Practice law in Atlanta. Oh, cool. 1885. So that's pretty in depth. Pretty cool. Um, I love stuff like this. I love history. One day on the channel, we're going to go to DC and show you all that stuff and, and Virginia because I would love to do that. But it's kind of cool. And then over here on the side, they have like this garden area. Which, I know when you do the tour, they'll give you more detail. And like I said, we might do that this weekend. We'll see. But yeah, it's pretty cool. And right here is the entrance to the museum. You can go into the Woodrow Wilson Museum, which I guess gives all the details of everything. It's pretty cool. Historic Augusta Museum. So it's not associated with this building, I guess. That's kind of cool. All right, got one more thing I wanna show you over here. Okay, so this is a museum entrance of the boyhood home. It's the lower level here. 
which you can see down there. So, still pretty cool, man. It's awesome. I have friends that live in Georgia and they do vlogs all the time about stuff and we're just not used to vlogging in these kind of areas anymore. We used to do it all the time when we first started the channel, but now we just don't do it. So sometimes it's like hard to remember what the rules are about certain things and certain places you can vlog. So um, I think I want to show you this real quick. Then I think we're going to head over to the river walk. One more last look here at the Woodrow Wilson boyhood home. Some construction going on. This is the um, little auditorium I was telling you about, but uh, can't really see it through the trees. They're doing construction work on it. And over here is the James Brown Arena. You can see that they have like concerts and stuff over here. It's pretty cool. Uh, we drove around it and it's pretty beat up on the other side but James Brown Arena right there. Okay, now let's get back in the car with Angie and let's go to River Walk. Kind of cool, a friend of mine, Mr. Nomad Ben, actually went there a few months ago, actually. So we're gonna go there too. All right, we made it over here to River Walk. Angie's gonna tell me some things that I don't know about this place, but here's the entrance over here. And then there is this church over here, which we're gonna take a look at too. This is pretty neat. And actually right over here is the Augusta Museum of History. Is this something else we might do while we're here? Not sure. I think it's like five or ten dollars a person which isn't bad but I have to find out if we can film in there. So yeah it's pretty cool though. Real cool thing that we just stumbled upon. We didn't even know it was here. Well, Angie did but I didn't. Fort Augusta Fort Cornwallis. Is this cool? This is actually a church. It's Episcopal Church, historic St. Paul's Church established in 1750. Let's go around the front and take a look. This is very much an old school vlog for me and Angie when we lived in Tennessee. So some things you'll see while we're here are very old school, love our life, like first three or four months of our YouTube channel. Now look at this sign here, it looks really old. That's cool though, I love stuff like this. This is so neat. church there. Let's go through the gates here. This property has been placed on the National Register of Historic Places by the United States Department of the Interior. Cool. Walking in here, St. Paul Church, you are always welcome here. Sunday services, 8 a.m., 11 a.m., and 5.30. Kind of cool. Look at this. So this is cool that this was actually a fort back during, I believe it was the Civil War time. This is neat. Of course they have a cemetery here inside of the grounds here of the church. This is really neat. We're not used to documenting this kind of stuff like I said, but it's kind of cool. In memory of James Clark, 1797. That is crazy. So many cool things here. Stone marks the grave of Miss Elizabeth Isaacs, wife of Ralph Isaacs. Died in 1809. Wow. Youngest daughter, Charlotte, also died 1809. Crazy. Really think about this, like the history of people that have been here for hundreds of years. It's just kind of crazy to think about. This is pretty cool. This is the original stone foundation of the church here. It's really interesting. We ask it, however, not to walk on the monuments, touch, or perform rubbings. Okay. I won't be performing any rubbings on the, these monuments. I don't even know what that is. I don't want to know what it means. 
Uh, but like this one Angie was pointing out. This is kind of cool. The 50th of August. Yeah. 1802. They were seven months and ten days. 50th of August. That can't be right. Maybe it was a misprint. Or something. I mean, like, back then, it's done. So, I mean, you know, we don't really like showing cemeteries and stuff, but this is interesting. Like, this person, a Aborn Jones... Died Seaborn. in 19... Seaborn? Seaborn? Yeah, there's an S. Okay, I see it now. And died <laughs> in 1750... Or 1850. 1815. Yeah. Born 1759. So he would have seen the Revolutionary War. Like, that's what's crazy about that kind of stuff. On the side of the building to commemorate the Great Congress of Five Indian Nations held here at Fort Augusta in 1763. When 700 Indians came to meet the governors of Georgia, Virginia, North and South Carolina. Crazy. So here's something crazy. George Washington actually visited here at Augusta uh, from May 18th to 21st of 1791. He was here for a few days. That's cool. He could have come right here and hung out. He says he did. Oh, he did hang out here? Yeah, it says tour the remains of Fort Cornwallis near St. Paul's. Oh, man. So, wait, it's... Yeah, I got my timeline messed up. But this is really cool to think about that we've walked where George Washington would have walked. You know? Like, mm -hmm. it's really interesting. We got to do more historical stuff, you know, when we get back to Orlando. But this is pretty amazing. Wow. It's really a lot to take in and a lot to think about. Take a look at this. This stone marks on the site of the Colonial Fort Augusta built by the Order of General Oglethorpe and the Trustees in 1736 and known during the Revolutionary War as Fort Cornwallis. The church was built in 1750. So obviously before 1776 and the War of Independence. That's awesome. It's really, really cool. I like how when you walk through here, it's like these bushes surrounding it. That is pretty awesome. I didn't even see this cannon here. That is awesome. Now, I don't know if this is an original cannon or not, but hey, still pretty cool. These stairs might as well be Mount Everest. After walking up those Mount Everest steps, here's the top of the church. You can actually go in here. You have a grilling area and everything like that. But behind me is the river walk, which is beautiful. This is the river walk. Yeah. Okay. Walk around the river. This is the river. You can tell I've never been here before. <laughs> I'm a tourist. Just like our friend living life with the tourists. This building right here used to be a place called Fort Discovery. And they had like neat little things for like kids or adults can find fun in it. Where it's like little science things and yeah. it was neat. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. It's now a YMCA, it looks like. And then there's some other businesses there with it too. What is this? YMCA. Members. And they do have a spot you can actually walk right along the river here. I think I'm gonna roll down to get there. What do you think? Be kind of fun. A little bit of home, Magic Kingdom. It doesn't work. Yeah. You used to be able to spin this little ball here, Angie said. Yeah. Like the one at Magic Kingdom, but it's a pretty impressive building here. It's really peaceful out here though. There's, I mean, there's some people walking by, but not a lot. I'm sure on the weekends it's a lot busier, but it's still really cool. All right, I made it down here by the water. This is pretty amazing. Nice area here. What I think is really cool is like all these homes that are over here too. Look at this, that's a helicopter. Way on the other side, a helicopter. That's awesome. I'd say, you know, they're living the high life, right? Pretty awesome though, that's a beautiful home. 
All these homes are beautiful over here. It's incredible. So this is a replica of a paddle wheel of a boat called the Catherines that wrecked in 1961. It was built in 1933, but it actually was shipwrecked in 1961. That's crazy. It's pretty cool though. A lot of history here. Look at Angie way up there. There she goes. Hi! <laughs> Have fun coming down. I love this bridge. This is awesome. Old school rickety bridge. And this is actually where a train will come through. It's only got train tracks on it. But it's pretty cool. Reminds me of back home in Tennessee, obviously. We're close to Tennessee, but still. Pretty awesome. We're not going to do it today, but they do have the Augusta Sculptor Trail that you can do. It's all these lead down to the river walk. It's pretty neat. Bit of a closer look at the bridge here. There we go. So cool. It's rusty, but it's cool. And the fact that a train is the only thing that goes across it is even cooler. Well, we thinking about being back here. It's not very exciting. <laughs> For you. I'm just saying there's not really anything to do. We're used to having a million things to do. You said you're a Florida girl now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm a Florida boy, except I hate the heat. Right underneath the old rickety bridge here is the Bonnie McLean Garden. It got the Council of Gardens Club. Not much to that though. Still cool. Looking over the fort one more time. Well, the church if you want to call it that. Pretty cool. And then down here is a view of Augusta in 1872. This was the area that we were just at. So, pretty awesome. And here's a look at the train tracks from above the bridge there. I'm not so sure that this is used anymore. I take back what I said. I mean, it does say no trespassing. Violators will be shot. I'm <laughs> just kidding. It says will be prosecuted. But, um, yeah, I don't know. If this is in use anymore, the only thing, reason why I say that is because if you follow this down, it goes right into town. So, I'm not overly sure. But still, really, really cool. Ooh, the bells of the church going off. I always love that stuff. Okay, guys, so there you have it. That was our day out here in Augusta, downtown Augusta, checking out some historical spots here in town. Um, it was different for me. We haven't done this in a while. Um, I enjoyed it. I had fun doing it, so we might have to do more in the future. Uh, but um, it was really interesting, like, seeing George Washington, a place that George Washington had walked here uh, in the fort. I didn't even realize the fort was down here, which was really cool. Um, and then seeing the boyhood home of Woodrow Wilson, uh, like I said, I don't know a lot about Woodrow Wilson, but, um, I just thought it was neat to see and some historical things that happened here. Um, it was really awesome. So I had fun and, um, you know, this is unique and different, but I had fun. What, what about you? Yeah. I mean, I've been here a million times. Been here a million times. So it's nothing to her. She's just <laughs> like, come on. So Angie is from South Dakota. But she lived here for a long time um, before we got together. And so um, it's interesting just to come back and see everything that she did uh, before we got together. It's like, it's weird because I know she felt that way back in Tennessee. Like, imagining a life 
before you. Yeah, you know, I enjoyed your stories when you would take me around. Yeah, and, you know, same here. I enjoy all the stories you've shown me. Some of the things you've shown me about the kids growing up and stuff like that. Like, mm -hmm. it, it's just fun. So, um, there's not a lot to do here. So, mm -hmm. um, we will travel within reason to some places uh, and show you guys. We have one plan in particular that I'm really excited about. Um, and we may go to Tacoa. I'm not sure if we're going to go to Tacoa or not. We've been there before on the channel, but I would like to redo that vlog um, and uh, show you guys how it's, you know, updated and everything. Uh, it, it's cool. It's awesome. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Hit that like button and the notification bell so you know when our next video is coming out. And remember, the road goes ever on. We'll see you next time.